In this video, we show how to use Electroanalyzer. First, we need to put the electrodes on the, at the right place uh, and lock the screw well. Uh, this is a pump tube and we let the tube uh, go through the hole. Then it can collect the uh, waste. We can show later. Then we close the electrode box uh, and this is solution A and solution B. Uh, we put the tube inside the box. Then we put them at the right place. Then we can close the door. As we can see, the, the waste tube is outside. We put a container here to collect the waste solutions. When we put everything well and uh, connect the uh, cable and switch on the machine, uh, when you then uh, wait for several minutes, it will go into the activating uh, page. Uh, if the since the machine all the machine have been tested before out of factory, so you doesn't need to activating. But if you the the uh, machine has been not used for a long time. You need to do activating to make the electrodes at the good status. So if you don't need it and press no to exit, uh, then we go to the recalibrate menu. Uh, page, you have to do the calibration before the uh, run the machine. So we press yes. After a while, it will uh, show you the calibration data uh, A1, A, B1, A2, A, B2. So it will take one more minute to finish and it, it will go through the self checking, self washing. So uh, it will take a while to finish the calibration uh, procedure. Now it shows the result of solution A and print out the calibration result by paper. Then we now we enter into the main menu. Uh, every page has four options. We press no to select. Uh, if the one doesn't you need, you press no to select others. When you press yes, then you can go to the sub menus. As you can see, you can press no to select and go to yes to go to the sub menus. So let's go to the first page. And this is a sample analysis. It's the first one, uh, the end they use most. Uh, we press no. Uh, this is uh, analyze QC. Uh, when the end user feels uh, the machine does not correct, we use the QC solution to check it. And the third one is a service calibration. When the result is not stable or not right, we do the calibration first to make the basis correct. And if you need other services, we go to the fourth menu.
Now let's test a sample. Now, for example, this is a serum sample from the blood. Then we open it, press uh, yes to do the sample analysis. Now we do wait for a while uh, to let the machine to prepare the testing. It will absorb some reagent from the pipeline. When it shows the uh, please lift the sample probe, now we lift the, uh, the probe and put in the sample into the probe. Press yes. It will absorb the sample automatically. Then close the sample probe. Then the machine will do the testing. Uh, wait for a while. It will show you the result. During the absorbing the sample, we need to avoid uh, absorb the blood cell into the pipe. It will block the pipeline. So only the serum. Now it shows the result uh, on the screen. And it will show also in the paper printing. For example, we have several uh, samples need to test. This is the second one. Uh, we do the same procedure. Then we just wait. It shows the second result. Let's do one more. We have a, for example, we have a third patient need to run the test and prepare the sample, then feed it to the sample probe. Once we preparing the uh, installation, calibration, the testing is so simple. You just need to uh, feed the sample and press yes. It will uh, testing automatically. Now we have the third result. Let's take off the paper and mark some numbers on on it then we can know which is the sequence one two three uh, according to the patient 